Belle Guinness, the butcher of men, the murder mistress, and a mystery in herself. What factors played a role in her becoming a serial killer? What happened to Belle Guinness? And did she really die in 1908? Or did she fake her own demise in order to escape the atrocities that she had committed? In this episode of The Most Dangerous Animal of All, we take a look into the life of Belle Guinness, the murder mistress. On November 22, 1859, in Selbu, Norway, Belle Guinness, originally named the Brynil Pols Dr. Storchett, was born. She was the daughter of a stonemason and grew up quite poor. As Belle came from a poor family, she was picked on constantly. In 1877, when Belle became pregnant, a boy from a wealthier family kicked her in the stomach. This made Belle lose her baby. The rich boy faced no consequences after causing Belle to lose her baby and the neighbor reported that after this, her personality completely changed. In 1881, Guinness immigrated to the United States in search of wealth. In 1884, at the age of 25, three years after Belle had immigrated to the United States, she married her first husband, another Norwegian named Mats Sornensson, she enjoyed living a luxurious lifestyle with him and insisted on the nice things. Her sister often stated to Belle that she cared too much about the luxuries in life and that Belle should focus more on what she has rather than what she does not have. While Belle was married to this man, the two stores and one house that they owned burned to the ground. Belle collected the insurance money in all three locations. In 1869, Mutz's daughter, Caroline, died from poisoning. In 1898, his son died as well, of the same cause. Bell collected insurance on both deaths. On July 30th, 1900, Mats himself passed away. The doctor stated that Mats had died from natural heart complications. The doctor also never completed an autopsy because Mats really was being already treated for a heart complication at the time of his death. And the doctor had no suspicion that there was foul play or that Belle had caused her husband to die. After Mats's death, Belle married a second man named Peter Guinness. They were married for almost a year. However, only a week after they were married, Peter's infant daughter died of uncertain causes while in the care of Belle. She received $3,000 from the insurance company. In December of 1902, Peter was pronounced dead himself. Bell stated in the police report that he was butchering a pig and something fell on his head. Jenny, an adopted daughter from Bell's first marriage, was heard saying at school that her mama had killed her papa. However, Bell denied all allegations, and since Bell was pregnant at the time, they let her go. Bell then started putting advertisements in the local paper, Lonely Hearts, in search for a husband. There were several men who answered. One was a rancher from Aberdeen. He gave her almost $3,000 before he was killed. Another victim was Belle's own adoptive daughter, as well as four other unidentified men and one unidentified woman. Oddly enough, Belle would be up and moving around the day after supposedly giving birth and her neighbors often reported that her children always looked older than a newborn would, indicating that she might have stolen them. Belle would bury her victims in a garden 150 feet behind her house. Like most women serial killers, Belle participated in overkill. She would first drug or poison them, and then dismember her victims, often using a meat cleaver. It is believed by some that Belle died in 1908 in a house fire. When town officials went to investigate the fire, they found all of Belle's victims in the death garden. There are several things one must begin to look at to be able to understand the motives behind Belle's murders. A combination of childhood trauma, her style of life, quest for superiority, 
and her parents' parenting style could all be involved in how Belle began to kill. Not to mention, her hate for men could have started after the teenage boy kicked her in the stomach, causing her to lose her baby. Since childhood, Belle was constantly picked on, and she was considered the weakest of her family. Additionally, she lacked power in relation to her neighbors because she was poor. When she had to take a job as a housemaid, she felt ashamed and humiliated, and as Belle grew up, she realized she did not want to be that poor girl. She wanted to live a life of power and a luxury lifestyle. After Belle moved to the U.S. searching for that life, she was willing to do anything to maintain it. The fire of the Guinness farm proves this. After the fire on the Guinness farm, where Belle was believed to be dead, the investigators realized her body type and description did not match the one in the grave. Was it possible that Belle faked her own death and escaped while she left everyone in her previous life to burn? That still remains a mystery even today. When looking at Belle's mental state and motives behind her murders, she had intense issues with society and following societal norms, as well as an intense craving for power. Belle was neglected as a child, and she was pushed into adult life as a child. Growing up quite poor and living in a large family, she was expected to work and support the family. She felt what it was like to be powerless in this world when a wealthy boy kicked her in the stomach and she lost her child. The boy suffered no consequences, and this event completely changed her. She had major trust issues due to the trauma she endured, and therefore she felt nothing for those in her life. In reality, there was not one person of significance in her life. Only power and money gave her purpose. When she moved to America for a better life, there were only two things on her mind, and that was power and money. She felt power by luring men in and manipulating them into believing she would love them, when in reality she just wanted their money. Belle's main focus in life was a quest for power, whether it was the relationship with her family or her quest for wealth and status. From the events in her life, it is clear that Belle is someone who suffered from a traumatic childhood, formed specific patterns through luring men in with love and then killing them as well as she gained psychological gratification from these acts. She felt power when she was able to kill the men in her life, because she only needed herself to stay afloat. The question of whether Belle survived the fire still remains a mystery. The body found believed to be Belle did not match her description, and the investigators do not believe that Belle died in that fire. If Belle did manage to escape, she disappeared without a trace. To conclude, Belle Guinness managed to lure men in, take their money, and kill them. She did this without an ounce of regret. It is believed that she staged her own death and escaped from the consequences that were waiting for her. Because of these actions, Belle Guinness is one of the smartest, yet one of the most terrifying serial killers of all, and her fate remains a mystery even today.